Greetings and welcome to News M TV. I am Makanaka Masenga. My story is making the headlines. Ex Nigerian leader over Sanjog in the country for investment. In the courts, businessman Buyanka's baby mama forces judge to step down. In business, Truward's chairman quits clothing giant after 20 years. In sports, PSL announces Chibuku Super Cup final gate charges. Now for the news in detail. Former Nigerian President Ole Shigan Obasanjo is in Zimbabwe, where he is accompanying some investors keen on setting up base in Zimbabwe. Obasanjo, who was last in the country March this year for the launch of MDC Vice President Tendai Biti's book on democracy, met President Emerson Nangagwa in a closed-door meeting on Thursday. The outspoken former military boss turned national leader later told journalists his meeting with Mnangagwa went on well. He also said it was unimaginable for the country to attain much needed development without local and foreign investment. You cannot talk of uh, development of the country without investment, domestic investment, foreign investment, regional investment, and uh, this is what we are talking for. And I'm meeting at Congress. Obasanjo's involvement with Zimbabwean politics dates back to the early 2000s when he was instrumental in convincing old foes in then-President Robert Mugabe and Morgan Changirai of MDC to dialogue in the interest of the country. Zimbabwean women and children have been hit hardest by the current economic crisis and food insecurity, a visiting United Nations food envoy has said. Addressing a press conference on her preliminary observations on Wednesday, UN Special Rapporteur on Right to Food Hilal Elve said there were increased challenges posed by the economic crisis, climate change, natural disaster, corruption and drought in both urban and rural areas. Food insecurity is that very much connected with economic, social and political conditions as well as, well as drought and climate change and natural disaster. So in this country, there is the agricultural policies that are not very effective. Production is very low right now. And even the production is there, but efficiency is not there. So you need a reform of the agricultural policy in the country to make available food produced in the country internally. According to Zimbabwe Vulnerability Assessment Committee 2019 Rural Livelihoods Estimates, 5.5 million people in rural areas are at risk of food security. Female vendors in Blawayo have been subjected to constant sexual harassment by members of the public each time they decide to stay late in the city center to cash in business availed by human traffic after hours. This was revealed by Blawayo Vendors and Traders Association Director Michael Ndiweni in an interview with NewZimbabwe.com in the city on Thursday. Diwani urged the local authorities to craft laws and policies which protect vendors against sexual harassment. This comes as the country joins the rest of the world in commemorating 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. In the courts, High Court Judge Hepias Show has recused himself from dealing with matters involving South Africa-based businessman Frank Boyanga and his ex-girlfriend Chantel Muteswa. This comes after Mteswa was embroiled in a bitter fight with Buyanga over the custody of the couple's minor child, filed a complaint with the Judge President Justice George Chiweshe, saying it was not fair that all cases involving the saga were being allocated to Joe. Muteswa said this pattern alone, even without looking at the outcomes of the matters, was a cause of concern. In a letter dated November 26, 2019, Muteswa petitioned Chiweshe, Quitting how all her high court matters which involve Buyanga were being allocated to show for determination. In business, listed clothing retailer Truworths Limited's Christopher Pitch has retired as chairman of board of directors and non-executive director after almost 20 years at the helm of the company. 
pitch exists during a time the country's hyperinflationary environment has seen the company's units declining 68%. The retirement coincided with the end of the annual general meeting held on November 28, 2019. Speaking to NewZimbabwe.com business following the development, Pitch said his stay at Truewords responded to developments in the country's roller coaster economy. with sports. The Premier Soccer League has announced the gate charges for the 2019 Shibuku Super Cup final between Highlanders and Ngezi Platinum Stars at Bubberfields Stadium on Saturday. The cheapest ticket has been pegged at $20 for the rest of the ground, while the wings are going for $50 with entry charges for VIP at $100 and VVIP strictly by invitation. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masengema. For this and more stories, visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, NewZim TV.